Okay, let's work on these puzzles. Problems, actually. Let's see. Well, we have check. Check on C7. Forces King E6. Okay, it doesn't force that. He could technically play the rook over. But uh, he would be losing. Let's double check this and look at Queen G7 check first. Queen G7 check, King E6, I don't know, say Rook to E6 check, King to D5. <laughs> oh, they would have like, well, we'd have queen to b7 check. Well, that's really kind of a ball. crazy king d6. That's pretty nasty. Queen of the queen c7 looks a lot simpler. Check. He goes king e8. We go check. And rook d7 looks like a loser. Queen c7 check, rook d7, rook g7 check, king e8, queen to c8 check. Can't go to d8 because, oh, queen takes queen doesn't win a queen. Ah, oh, but that was going to win a queen. My mistake. Hmm. All right, that's queen g7 check is the better move. Oh, it isn't. That's a stupid move. It was an asinine defensive move. I analyzed that as trash. Rook takes, bishop takes, knight here. Obvious win. Oh, good grief, Charlie Brown. Can't do that. And that's why you can't do that. The whole thing about this combo was noticing this knight was coming forward. And if the bishop goes to like b8, you win the queen. I mean, on knight f5, we're going to get that queen or that bishop, or possibly both. Super easy. For me, anyway, I don't know. So, bishop takes rook, bishop captures bishop. And then I guess I'm free and clear. Go knight to here or queen to there. Hmm. Yeah, threatening his bishop. This just wins more material, doesn't it? It sure does. Okay, no problems, no problems. Key thing you had to see was this bishop was not able to take the queen if we took the rook because it'd be pinned to the king. So we zap the rook, bishop goes there. If we fork this, if he moves this bishop, we're still going to play rook to g3. Or we could play bishop to h5, connecting the rooks first. So he's in bad shape. And that move was just horrible. Bishop to d2 or bishop to e3 would be a lot better. But I mean, I think he's still going to lose material. He just lost. He lost a whole piece. 
Yes. We won the exchange and then, you know, we won two pieces for the rook. That wins a whole piece. That first problem was dumb. The solution is just terrible. Because I look at that and it's no good. He doesn't play the right move. If he plays king to e8, where do we go? You know, if we play queen to c8, he can play rook. Oh, okay, I guess we just repeat the scenario. Queen to c8. Well, rook king to e8, queen to c8 check, rook to d8, rook to g8. And at this point, we were going to win the rook. Just outright. So that was my, my mistake on that one. That move is horrible. I, mean, I don't know what that's supposed to do. Except just lose quickly. So, eh, kind of a cheap shotter. But, uh, yeah, we just repeat the scenario all the way to the back rank. The rest of these were no problem. What well, was the 1680? Well, that yeah, that puzzle was not was not this was not a hard puzzle, obviously. I have to agree, 1680 wasn't very difficult. This one was what? 1854. Yeah, this one wasn't hard at all. The key part here was that you had an obvious outpost square. Well, for higher ranked players, that's an obvious square. So the F5 square is an obvious outpost square. So we need to get there. And it's when it's worth an exchange. Rook takes knight to get that knight to that square. Because now he can't defend the bishop. Well, actually, he can defend the bishop with the rook. Oh, yeah, no, it doesn't matter. He can't defend the bishop, right? Because rook takes the bishop is coming. And he can't recapture. He can't recapture with the rook because knight forks his queen. So that's his problem. Uh, rook to b4 for black was a horrible move. King to h8, imperative. <laughs> you go back to the beginning. Let's look at this. He played rook to b4. You know, that doesn't look like a bad move at all. It looks like it threatened to win a piece. <laughs> Too bad that king h8 is really the better move. So this is really one of those interesting positions that he made a move that looks completely reasonable. And this is not an obvious mistake at all. So you got to be careful. You got to watch those outpost squares. Very, it was a very instructive problem, actually. That was a terrific problem. You learn a lot. You learn a lot on that one. Okay, well, that was pretty instructive, actually. I got. hope you guys liked it. Make sure you subscribe. Tell your friends, but don't tell your enemies, because they'll use my lessons against you. You guys know what to do. I'll talk to you later.